Hey, you're back. So, what's up? Everything all right? Morning. I've completed my training for the day. If you plan on leaving now, then let me accompany you. Yeah, you bet. Don't worry, I'm exceedingly good at adapting to new environments. There have been times in the past when I've had to make do with a rock for a pillow or just find a patch of grass to lie down on. In the army, you learn how to sleep well wherever you are. <laughs> Why would you think that? If your bowstring is always drawn tight, it will eventually snap. Relaxation is an essential part of improving as a fighter. So as far as I'm concerned, this place is the perfect antidote to the tension of battle. Which brings me to you. I wanted to take this opportunity to express my sincere gratitude for everything you've done for me. Thank you. You've always been genuine with me. It truly warms my heart. Oh, anyway, don't worry. I'm not here to just take advantage and lounge around. I'm ready to switch to combat mode at a moment's notice. Huh, it seems so. Time of peace is hard to come by. I will cherish every moment of it. Which brings me to you. I wanted to take this opportunity to express my sincere gratitude for everything you've done for me. Thank you. Sure. How about I tell you some stories from my time in the Resistance? I can think of a few you're not likely to hear from anybody else. All right. The truth is, not every soldier that joins the Resistance goes through formal training, so new soldiers make small mistakes from time to time. For example, one time during a mock expedition, one of the new soldiers didn't store his rations carefully enough. They went bad and he ended up eating nothing but radishes for two whole weeks. Another time during a scouting operation, a new soldier mistook animal trails for enemy trails. They ended up playing cat and mouse with a forest boar for three whole days. Thankfully, these were just small oversights and never caused any serious consequences. On the contrary, we often have a good laugh about these things during our downtime. But when I think about it, I'm sure we would avoid issues like these if we reformed some of our guidelines. We should be mixing veteran soldiers and newer soldiers together. This way, veteran soldiers can act as mentors and share their experience with the newer soldiers. And oh, <laughs> my apologies. I began thinking out loud there. I, I can go over these reforms some other time. Right now, I'm chatting with you, so I should keep it light. You want to hear my story? Uh... <sighs> Soldiers love boasting about my military achievements to other people, but I always feel that talking about my own experience gives the impression I'm boasting. <laughs> you know I can't say no to you, don't you? Wait, oh, that's why you asked, isn't it? <sighs> All right, I guess there's no way out of this one. Let me think. Mm. Oh. Okay, let me tell you the thrilling tale of my one-man scouting mission to the north of Nazuchi Beach. Here's what I remember from that day. Yeah, I heard from Tubby the butler bird that she can change the terrain to whatever you want. So, could you build a really tall mountain? The steeper the better. I want it to be a tough climb. Then, let's you and I have a race to the top. Wow, you didn't take much persuading. Thank you. I used to go mountain climbing with my resistance comrades all the time. It was a great way to test our physical limits while also having some fun together. <laughs> I have so many treasured memories. But something tells me that the chance to climb a mountain with you would become the happiest memory of them all. In fact, I would love to share every happy moment with you. <laughs> You're too kind. All right, how about we find a relatively safe mountain trail and see who makes it to the top the fastest? Are you up to the challenge? 
the loser has to treat the winner to a three-course meal. And at least one of the courses has to be dessert. Uh, what a weird request. But fine, if you win, of course. For the sake of my tail, I will give it everything I got. If you're serious about winning this, you're gonna have your work cut out for you. <sighs> right. We should probably warm up first. What? My tail is a pillow? I... <sighs> Fine, I'll allow it, but only if you win. <sighs> for the sake of my tail, I will give it everything I got. Good night. Rest well, friend. Remember that the secret to good sleep is letting go of all your worries. Therefore, the ever-victorious general is here to protect you. <laughs>